Hi, welcome back. Today I'm working on the gnome home again, this time creating the bedding for the bunk beds. First thing I had to do was make a template for the mattresses. I shoved a folded paper towel into the bunk cavity and creased it all around the edges of the bed base so I would know where to cut it out. Once the pattern template was created, I was able to cut out four pieces of the mattress fabric to make the two mattresses. Out of sheer habit from my quilting hobby, I cut the pieces with an additional quarter inch seam allowance. The blade on my roller cutter is getting a bit blunt now, I really need to replace that one of these days. You could just use sharp scissors. I used Taylor's chalk to mark up the sewing line on the fabric. A pencil or a light pen would also work. I sewed just over three quarters of the way around and left a gap so I could turn it right side out. Always remember to snip the corners so they sit nicely once they're turned the right way up. Poke the corners out into shape gently. You might have also noticed I left the needle and thread still attached. This was part laziness on my part and partly for ease of when I slip stitched the mattress closed after stuffing it. Make sure you get the stuffing spread nice and evenly throughout the mattress. When you're happy with how it's padded out, slip stitch the opening closed. Now I want to tuft the mattress, which I'll do by sewing a few stitches in one spot. I repeat the process eight times for each mattress. Just 
checking if it fits and it does perfectly. Next up, pillows. I made a pattern piece judging by eye for size. I got this white meshy fabric amongst the packaging for a delivery, but I thought it would work for making the pillows. I made them basically the same way as the mattresses, but without the tufting. Slip stitch the pillow closed. I had this leftover cotton fabric from some pillowcases I altered a while back and I'm going to use it to make some sheets and pillowcases. I'm going to measure it up against the pillows and mattresses to eyeball how much I need to cut off. I start off the pillowcases with stitching down a very narrow hem at one end. I'm making envelope style pillowcases where one end has like a flap that goes over the end of the pillow inside the pillowcase. It would have been faster to sew this with a sewing machine but I got carried away with the hand sewing. Fold over the other end twice and stitch it down and then with the right sides facing each other fold the first end over and stitch down each side seam. Make sure that it's wide enough to fit the pillow. I used pinking shears to trim the side seam allowances but it's not necessary. The pinking shears reduce potential fraying on the edges. Not that these pillowcases will be suffering from excessive wear and tear at all.
perfect. I finally got sensible and busted out the sewing machine to hem up the edges of the four sheets. These cute little bunk beds need tiny quilts, so I cut strips of four different fabrics, sewed them together in pairs lengthways and cut them into short strips and kept sewing the squares together until I had a simple quilt design. One green and blue and one pink and orange. Place the quilt tops right sides facing the backing fabric, pin them in place and cut them out the stitch just over three quarters of the way around again. Trim off the excess and snip the corners before turning the right way out and then slip stitch the opening closed. They turned out just as adorable as I imagined. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads and leave a comment because I'd love to hear from you. It really helps my channel to grow. If you want to share your own crafty ideas and projects, join my Facebook page called Nessie Monster Crafts. And we have Fun Day Fridays where we can all show off our latest works in progress. If you can afford it, please consider buying me a coffee. Links for both my Facebook group and coffee account are in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.